So in this class, we'll see the isotransform of cosine signal as well as the sine signal. We first uh, find the isotransform of the given cosine signal cos omega naught n multiplied with u of n. That means this cosine signal, discrete cosine signal is going only on the right hand side but not on the left hand side because this signal cosine signal is multiplied with a unit step function that is u of n so then fourier transform x of z is equal to summation n minus infinity to plus infinite x of n z power minus n summation n zero to infinite x of n value is cos omega naught n z power minus n so we'll just try to write cos in terms of e power j theta e power j omega n so summation n zero to infinite this we can write like e power j omega naught n plus e power minus j omega naught n divided by two into z power minus n these two we can take outside that is one by two summation n zero to infinite e power j omega naught n multiplied with z power minus n then plus summation n zero to infinite e power minus j omega naught n multiplied with z power minus n okay, this one by two is common so one by two uh, summation n zero to infinite okay this we can write like e power j omega naught multiplied with z inverse whole power n e power j omega naught z inverse whole power n plus uh, summation n zero to infinite e power j e power minus j omega naught z power minus one whole power n e power minus j omega naught z power minus one whole power n then one by two uh, uh, one by one minus a that a value is here e power j omega naught is at inverse uh, similarly here also one by one minus a that a value is e power minus j omega naught omega naught is at inverse okay again we have to write the roc for both the term okay that i will write uh, separately later just uh, first we'll simplify this okay, one by two uh, then this is one minus e power j omega naught is at inverse plus one minus e power minus j omega naught is at inverse one minus e power j omega naught is at inverse one minus e power is plus okay you are not z inverse so 1 plus 1 is 2 again from the second term and fourth term the z inverse is common that we can take outside again uh, we have to multiply these two then finally we will be getting four terms to take z inverse outside to minus z in z inverse e power j omega naught plus e power minus j omega naught divided by 1 minus e power j omega naught z inverse e power j omega naught z inverse one is with plus sign another one is with minus sign then finally these two term again they will cancel each other plus z power minus 2 Okay, plus z power minus 2 in 1 by 2 is this is 2 2 minus 2 cos omega naught 
is at inverse divided by 1 minus is at inverse again here also we will be getting 2 cos omega naught plus is at power minus 2. If you take the two outside again they will cancel with each other these two. We can take two outside and that will cancel with this two then one minus is at inverse cos omega naught divided by 1 minus 2 cos omega naught z inverse plus z power minus 2 or otherwise multiply both numerator and denominator with the z power 2 so that we'll be getting z square minus z cos omega naught z square minus 2 cos omega naught z plus 1. That means either we can write the answer with the help of z with the negative power or with the positive power. Okay, both are okay. Then what about the ROC? Okay, uh, for the first signal, uh, for the first signal, the ROC, the term, the entire this term has to be less than 1. Similarly, for this second term, this has to be less than 1. Okay, so ROC 1 means uh, e power j omega naught z inverse z inverse modulus value is less than 1 roc 2 is e power minus j omega naught z inverse modulus value less than 1 and we know that mod value of e power j is always 1 so z inverse mod less than 1 that means 1 by mod z less than 1 so mod is at greater than 1 again here also uh, we'll be getting mod is at inverse less than 1 1 by mod is at less than 1 mod is at less than 1 again in both the cases we are getting mod is at value sorry here mod is at greater than 1 mod is at greater than 1. Again in both the cases we are getting mod is at greater than 1 then what is the common ROC is mod is at greater than 1. So finally uh, x of z is equal to z square minus z cos omega naught divided by z square minus 2 z cos omega naught plus 1 with mod z value greater than 1. Is next what is the z transform of the sign signal? Find z transform of sign omega naught n u of n. Summation x of z is equal to summation n minus infinite two plus infinite x of n z power minus n summation n 0 to infinite e power j omega naught n minus e power minus j omega naught n divided by 2j z power minus n 1 by 2j summation n 0 to infinite e power j omega naught n z power minus n minus summation n 0 to infinite e power minus j omega naught n z power minus n. Okay, then 1 by 2j summation n 0 to infinite e power j omega naught z inverse whole power n minus summation n 0 to infinite e power minus j omega naught z inverse whole power n. 1 by 2j 1 by 1 minus e power j omega naught z inverse minus 1 by 1 minus e power minus j omega naught z inverse 1 by 2j 1 minus e power minus j omega naught z inverse minus 1 plus e power j omega naught z inverse by 1 minus e power j omega naught z inverse uh, minus e power minus j omega naught z inverse 
plus z power minus 2 in this one this one will cancel okay from the second and fourth term we can take z inverse outside that is 1 by 2 j z inverse e power j omega naught minus e power minus j omega naught divided by from the again in the denominator also from the second and third term we can take z inverse outside So one minus z inverse e power j omega naught plus e power minus j omega naught plus z power minus two one by two j z inverse two j sine omega naught divided by two uh, cos omega naught z inverse plus z power minus two two j this two j will cancel. Finally, z inverse sine omega naught divided by one minus two cos omega naught z inverse plus z power minus two, or otherwise multiply both numerator and denominator with z square, then you will be getting z sine omega naught divided by one minus two cos omega naught z plus z square. Oh, sorry uh, again z square z square will come here here one okay then what about the roc roc one roc one is e power j omega naught z inverse mod value less than one ROC two is e power minus j omega naught z inverse mod value less than one. Again, we know that um, this is one by mod z less than one. That means mod z greater than one. Here also one by mod z less than one. That means mod z greater than one. Okay, then ROC common ROC is mod z greater than one. Next question. Find is a transform of sequence x of n is equal to one minus one, two, three, four. Again, this is this signal x of n is having finite number of samples. This arrow mark indicate that uh, central value that is n is equal to zero. So this is n is equal to zero. And x of z is equal to summation n minus infinity to plus infinite x of n z power minus n. So when n is equal to minus two, the value is one. Okay. So again, we'll expand like this. Okay, there are many samples, but all are zeros. Then x of minus two is at square x of minus one is at power one. Okay, x of zero is at power zero is one. Then x of one is at power minus one. X of two is at power minus two. Then remaining things will be zero. Okay, actually the remaining things will be Zero. Then what is the value of x of minus two? That is one. So one multiplied with z square is z square. Well, then what is the value of x of minus one? That is minus one. So minus one multiplied with z. So minus z. What is the value of x of zero? That is two. Okay, what is the value of x of one? That is three. So three is z inverse. What is the value of x of two? That is four. So four is z power minus two. Okay. And what about the ROC here? Okay, to get this answer, we did not put any restriction here. So that means ROC is entire z plane, entire z plane. 
Why? Because the given signal is a finite duration signal. That means uh, you are having only five samples. Okay, that means finite duration signal. So that the ROC is entire is at play. Okay, thank you.